Hey, what's up everybody? Paul Riley here and it's about to get real. Today we got a new new gun out on the range. Uh, this is, it's not a new gun to me. I've had it for a while. Well, I bought it for my, my girlfriend uh, some time back and she upgraded to a Glock shortly after that. So this gun is relatively brand new. I think I've shot a magazine or two out of it. She shot a magazine or two out of it. And then it got put up in the gun cabinet when she upgraded to the Glock. But it's a great gun. So we're going to do a quick review on it today. And go ahead and just talk about some pros and cons of the Ruger Security 9. So, this is a full-size 9mm pistol from, Glock, or from uh, Ruger. Sorry about that. Not Glock. Got Glock on the brain. Uh, comes with a pair of 15 round magazines for so for all you guys that, that have issues with uh, small capacity <laughs> wink wink nod nod uh, Plenty of capacity now granted it don't go up to the 17 plus one, but 15 plus one should be should be sufficient uh, today for ammo we've got a f two magazines I had two magazines of the wolf steel case ammo that i got back in october before ammo prices got too crazy and then we've got some fiocchi 115 grain brass uh full metal jackets as well and i got these uh at the black friday sale at rural king for 10.49 a box yes 10.49 a box i actually was able to find reasonably priced ammunition during an election year, during a pandemic, with all the civil unrest that we had going on, I still managed to, to get lucky, and I was able to get 400 rounds of that. Now, granted, most of that's gone at this point. I've only got three boxes of it. Two, well, once I shoot this up, I'll have two boxes of it left. And then I still got some remand ammo from back before the pandemic got rolling full speed. So, I got my ears with me today. We got some magazines. We got a pistol. We got some steel targets. And uh, we're going to shoot this gun. What do you think about that? I think that sounds like a plan. Always make sure to wear your hearing protection. When I was a young man, I was stubborn, arrogant, cockstrong. Didn't want to wear hearing protection. And uh, I paid the price for it later on in life. Now I can't hear for shit. So we always make sure to wear these here at Ear Pro now, since how uh, we can't really hear very good anymore. Little little too late to do the right thing now, but we're still we're gonna make it work. I've got some steel targets set up here. I'm about oh let's see, I'm about about five yards from the target, roughly give or take plus or minus. Being the old lefty, you notice I was, I've got the right-handed holster on. That shows you that this isn't actually my weapon. <laughs> this one belongs to the, to the girlfriend. And like I said, she upgraded to the Glock, so this brand-new gun has basically been sitting in the gun cabinet now for over a year and hasn't really been shot. So let's give it a run. Let's see how she does. Not bad. Not bad at all, I tell ya. Let's go ahead and run one more. What do you say? You guys like that idea? Yeah. Let me clear this real quick. I'm digging the, the safety trigger. I, I'm liking the trigger in this. Now, I don't know if you can hear it over the neighbor's damn dogs barking. There's the brake. There's the reset. Brake. Reset. So, I mean, it's got a, a real nice reset in the trigger. Real smooth. Doesn't feel gritty at all. Nice, smooth trigger pull.
And this appears to be a hammer fired gun. It's got a small internal hammer inside, so not a striker fire. Interesting. All right, let's run another mag through it and see how she does. Not bad. Not bad at all. She's warming up. I got uh, five of these wolf shells still. Let's go ahead and run these. What do you say? Get rid of this steel case ammo. I hate this stuff. It's so corrosive. Shit rust on you. Just not cool. Seems to shoot just fine. Let's go ahead and load up another mag. I know you guys just burning up ammo. Burning up ammo. Why not, right? Now for me, this is my therapy. Coming out here, getting on the range, having a little therapy time. It's about the only time that the voices in my head are quiet. <laughs> can you believe, can you absolutely believe that there are people out there that would like to make it to where I can't do this? Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? All right, so I'm gonna turn you guys around here and let you see the target this time instead of watching me. Let you see, see the target react. Well, great news, I got a second camera. I'll have it set up for our next video, but for this one, I was just going to make it short and quick. Didn't want to get real complicated in the editing. So let me swing you guys around here, and you can watch the target this time. So as you can see, this gun shoots just fine. Um, I don't see any reason, you know, granted I haven't gotten thousands of rounds through it or even hundreds of rounds at this point. You know, I'd, I'd say this gun probably hasn't even made it to a hundred rounds yet. I've shot it more today, four magazines, more than this gun's been shot in its, in its life was shot today. We're going to run one more magazine through it because dinner's almost ready. Last rounds. It's always a cunt to get into these new magazines. I mean, the weight of the gun is nice, and it feels comparable to a Glock when it's loaded. Unloaded, it's comparable to a Glock. Free-floating barrel. The takedown is not the same as Glock. It's definitely different there. Uh, Single-sided slide release. Single-sided sided, uh, mag cat or slide lock. Looks like... Um, doesn't look like it can be switched to ambi. Doesn't look like it's an ambi at all. The sights are all right on it. Um, they could have been better, but for what it is... You now they're fully adjustable, rear and front so look like they're fully adjustable. You now, serration on it, the the, uh, the parkerization on it, the grip, the the diameter of the grip, the disc, the size of it is about perfect. It could be a little more textured. It could be. It doesn't have to be. This is fine. It feels good in my hand. Not as good as a Glock, but it feels good. 
Now you can still see some machine marks in it a little bit. So I guess that's how they got the price down on it. I want to say I paid $2.59 for this. It's been a while, so I could be wrong on that. I want to say it was $2.59, but definitely under $300. Uh, very good gun for under $300. Bucks. Cannot complain. Let's shoot another magazine through it. What do you think? We'll shoot another magazine through it, and then we'll call it a day so I can go get my supper done. What do you think? Would you look at that? We got a malfunction. The hell? What in the hell? Huh. Interesting. Springs jammed. Hmm. Yeah, I got a bullet nose down in the magazine. Alright, I don't know if that's the ammunition, or the magazine, or just a fluke. Now I'm going to have to shoot another mag. Guess we gotta shoot another one now. Ah, oh, the neighbor's dogs. Who else has to deal with neighbor's dogs? Tell me in the comments about how much you can't stand your neighbor's dogs. It's ridiculous. Here we go. Issues that time. I'm just going to go ahead and call that one a fluke. I don't think that that's something that's going to, you're going to see very often. I don't know. That concerns me though. I'm going to load these last five in. What do you say? So that puts us up to uh, 50, 30 is uh, 80, 85 rounds. Yeah, 85 rounds today. So we've definitely. Uh, since since I brought the gun out, it has definitely doubled its shot count. Like I said, I don't think it had 100 rounds in it before I brought it out here. Let's see here. Let's get a fresh one. All right. Weapons clear. Let me take you down here and let you see these shots. Shot placements. Uh, this is the one that I was just shooting at. So, not too bad. I was shooting from right there at the blue barrels. We shot this one a few times. 
this is the one where I shot most everything. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, I think I missed one shot while I was out here shooting. It's well, when I shot at the six inch. Uh, I missed one time shooting at the six. I don't think I missed any more than that. All right, guys. Well, that's what I've got for you today. I've got cool stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more cool content coming. Um, we're going to do some stuff with some food. We've got some body armor panels. I've got a ballistics helmet coming. I've got an old shotgun that we're going to kill. So I've got some stuff coming up. You just got to bear with me. Uh, I don't want to jump into any of that really cool stuff while I'm still learning how to set up the shots and everything So in the very near future that's going to happen But until then make sure you visit the website patriotshit.com Because that's how I generate the money to buy the stuff to bring out here to make the videos with like the new GoPro 7 Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. I'm, this one's an 8 But yeah, anyway, none of that matters Until next time